Welcome to our deep dive into one of the most debated topics in Christian eschatology, the rapture. Today, we'll explore a perspective that might surprise you. Could it be that the ones left behind are actually the saved? Let's unravel this mystery together, understanding the traditional view. Traditionally, the rapture is understood as the event where believers are taken up to meet Christ in the air, leaving the unbelievers behind to face the tribulation. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17 is often cited. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. This view suggests a clear distinction between those who are caught up and those left to endure the end times. A different perspective. But what if there's another way to interpret these events? Let's consider the idea that those left behind are the ones saved protected by God through the tribulation. Matthew 24 verses 40 to 41 says, Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one left. While this passage is often seen as evidence for the traditional rapture, some theologians argue that taken could imply judgment. Not salvation. Could it be that those left behind are spared, preserved by God's grace? Biblical parallels. Let's look at biblical parallels. In the story of Noah, it was the wicked who were taken by the flood, while Noah and his family were left behind, safe in the ark. Similarly, in the story of Lot, those in Sodom and Gomorrah were taken by destruction, while Lot and his daughters were left, escaping to safety. Could these stories hint at a pattern where being left behind is actually a form of divine protection? Analyzing Key Scriptures Consider Revelation 3 verse 10, where Jesus says, Because you have kept my word about patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world, to try those who dwell on the earth. Does keeping you from the hour of trial necessarily mean removal, or could it imply protection through the trial? Let's also look at John 17:15, where Jesus prays, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. This suggests a form of divine protection rather than physical removal. Implications for Believers If this perspective is true, it challenges us to rethink our understanding of end times events. Instead of being fearful of being left behind, we can trust in God's protection through tribulation. It encourages us to focus on living faithfully and enduring patiently, knowing that God's plan for us is ultimately good. Conclusion The concept of the rapture and who is left behind is a profound mystery that continues to intrigue and challenge believers. Whether we are taken or left, the most important thing is to be found in Christ, secure in His salvation. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this exploration, please like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into biblical mysteries. Until next time, stay curious and keep seeking the truth.